Hello, I am Tanya Nardini and I'm a Brazilian director and choreographer. And since 2007, I am an associate director for Chicago the Musical all over the world. That means that this last 13 years I've been traveling all over the world, working with some amazing, talented artists from very different cultures. So after we start this lockdown due to the pandemic, I was thinking, how can I share this extremely interesting experience that I have to know all these people from all over the world that are connected through one character? I sent them all an email inviting and they all agreed. They accepted. So wow, it's an amazing experience. We've been doing this virtual meetings, almost all the Velmas, all the Roxies, all the Billies, and more and more and more from everywhere. And it's been so fun and such a, an incredible, inspiring experience for me to see them meeting each other for the first time and sharing and connecting outside in, inside out. Enjoy. We have all of you, and we have these three wonderful ladies, Carolina, Tasha, and Kathy, to help us like they helped me the whole time. So if you want to speak in your language, please feel free. I truly understand how much better it is to <laughs> <laughs> express yourself in your own language. Okay, I have, I have a, a, a request. Let's start with Jackie who was my Woo! first Velma. Yeah. Hi. 2007, my yes. first international production was with her. Hello. Hello. I worked with Velma in 2007, for 13 years, and I've been working with Velma Kelly today. I'm waiting for the news of Broadway 42nd Street. Uh, hello everyone. Um, I wor started working with Tanya in 2007, so it's already been 13 years. Um, and when I got the news that we were having this meeting, I was super, super excited uh, while I'm rehearsing for um, Broadway, the 42nd Street um, these days. I'm so excited to meet you all today. Uh -huh. <laughs> 어, 한번 나중에 꼭 같이 만나서 협연할 수 있는 기회가 왔으면 좋겠습니다. And it's really incredible to see all these faces look very, very Chicago-like as well. <laughs> hopefully in near future, I hope to see all of you in person. Hi, you're talking to Austria. Austria, Vienna. Hello! And, oh, you're in oh. Austria! <laughs> yes, and it's all beautiful, you know. Um, so what, I'm Caroline, and we did Chicago in Berlin in uh, 2015-16, and in Munich. And yeah, I'm sitting here now with my two children. <laughs> it's just <laughs> because they're in the pool, you know, it's summer. Nice! Yeah, it's it's <laughs> All good, you know. So see good you. to see all these beautiful women. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I know. I know. Yeah, amazing. What a call. Yeah. <laughs> Go, Bibi. Bibi okay. was my almost, no, that my last latest Velma was Logan, but Bibi was almost, almost my latest. So go ahead. Okay, I'm going to try in English, but my English is not so good, okay? Uh, Carito, please, if you hear something strange, please help me, okay? <laughs> I can say, okay. I, can say. I am Vivi Gaitan. Uh, I'm from Mexico. 
Um, me siento muy orgullosa de haber interpretado a Belma. I am very proud eh, of being Belma. Eh, he estado, he hecho televisión, pero definitivamente y cine, pero definitivamente mi pasión siempre ha sido el teatro. I have y done lo, TV and films, but my passion really is theater. Uh -huh. Y realmente para mí fue una um, gran oportunidad, enorme oportunidad la que me dio Tania, Gary, Rob de trabajar con ellos y por supuesto Ostesa y Morris Gilbert, y Carito que está ahí también. For me this was a great opportunity from Tania and Gary and Rob and of course the producers. And I love you Tania. <laughs> <laughs> Te amo, querida. <laughs> Te amo más. <laughs> Who's next? You choose. Logan. Yeah. Okay, Logan, my latest Velma. We just did Velma US tour. <laughs> Hi, everyone. Um, good morning. I am in California. I was the latest Velma uh, before COVID hit. We got about 16 performances in. Um, we were supposed to kind of perform for all of 2020 into a little bit of 2021, uh, but we are on break and hopefully starting again in August. Um, and yeah, so I am, this is incredible to see everyone and like the history of Chicago and all the Velmas and to see you again, Tanya, this is incredible. So thank you so much for inviting me. Thank you. Beautiful. <laughs> Um, Sam. Yes. You. Yes, it's my microphone. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, I'm from South Africa and we did the world tour of Chicago and that was in 2019. Am I right? 2018 yeah. to 2020. I went from you to Fanny. Yes. Same year. That's yeah. right. That's, that's why there's such a link and I love Fanny. I have to just say before I even say my name. <laughs> So I'm, I'm Sam, and um, we did the world tour 2018 till, two, till January of this year. We left um, China on the 15th of January um, without even knowing what we'd left. <laughs> and literally a week after that, everything closed down, like all the airports, so we would have been stuck there. But um, yeah, I, I was first introduced to Chicago like, way back before Tanya and I I worked with a, a guy called Scott Farris, yes. and um, that was with um, Gary as well, and Corin Buckery. We did, um, I, I played Roxy then, that was 2005, so that was, I was younger and clearly much more innocent in a way. <laughs> Um, and then we, and then Tanya came out and, and we wanted to do it again. I actually performed um, Roxy opposite Amra Faye in South Africa. She was, she was the, the Velma then. And then um, they, they decided they wanted to re repeat that. And I didn't realize that they were going to be looking at a new Velma. And that just happened in the audition process because that was the first time meeting Tanya, goddess, goddess Tanya. Mm -hmm. And um, and they said to me, I thought I was there for Roxy and I was, you know, so confident, ah, la 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 la. And, and suddenly they were like, no, you're clearly not. Tanya was like at the end of the audition, no, 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 she's not a Roxy anymore, she's a Velma. I was like, what? But um, the experience was, for me, Tanya made it everything and to just witness all of your responses to her just shows what Im an impact she has on everyone she works. I deeply miss you, Tanya, and I miss the experience and I miss Velma and everything that she's brought to me. And it's, she's changed and influenced me hugely. And Lana, I just have to say, you look exactly like you do on stage. Now, Lana, thank you. Since, since Sam passed the ball to you. Yep. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Sam's passed the ball to me. Got it. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Good morning. <laughs> Good morning. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. So, Good morning. so wonderful to share this early morning for me is early. Um, Tanya, you are a goddess. You really are. You, you changed my life. 
I mean, 2016, I did a show that I had no idea I could do um, in another language <laughs> that was not my own. But you, you saw something in me that I didn't see at the time, um, that I can do it, and I did it to the best of my ability. But um, through, as life throws many curveballs at you, you don't know exactly what kind of curveball it will be thrown. Um, and because of you, I was able to do it on Broadway for six weeks, for six weeks. And then I've been down now doing Velma Kelly off and on for the last three years on Broadway. So it's because of you, you know, opening that door, of a, a certainty to bring me to this definite beautiful light and Velma this role really gets inside your spirit yep. and body and and you just you don't know I mean there's most when you get on that stage you're like really why do I have to do this again you know but there's there's lessons in in all these movements and all this this the passion that that Velma brings out of you to bring into you to bring out to to the audience you're, you're just thank you so much for seeing you know some of the some of the things still when I get on stage some of your 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 direction is still in my head <laughs> thank you some of the direction is still in, in my head so thank you thank you you really are, you, you really are an, an iconic for us I, I, so, I can speak for everybody I know I can <laughs> yep so if if you don't know, uh, I don't know if you all know, but um, Lana is an American actress who, <laughs> by chance, was working in Germany when we auditioned uh, for oh my God. for Chicago, and uh, she came for audition and she got the part and she had to do Chicago, which is not an easy part to play in a different language than yours, especially wow. in the German. Very wow. hard, wow. because you know you know why. Yes. So yeah, and she came <laughs> and she did it, and then after that she went to Broadway. And thank you very much for trusting. Oh, well, thank you, wow. thank you, <laughs> Sasha. Yes, yes. Can you introduce Hello. yourself? Yes, yeah. yes, yes. Hello, everybody. My English is very, very bad. <laughs> I'm uh, very good. <laughs> no, no, no. I will say a little, uh, and then um, uh, Tanya, uh, Tasha uh, will uh, translate for me. Uh, I, uh, I happy to see you, everybody, uh, now in Russian. Uh, <laughs> Я хочу поприветствовать всех прекрасных женщин, совершенно разных и замечательных по всему миру. I'd like to say hello to all of these beautiful ladies, such different and so diverse Velmas from all over the world. Я смотрю на всех вас и насколько мы все разные, но я вижу, что нас что-то одно очень важное объединяет. I'm looking at all of us so different, uh, but I see that there is something similar, something unifying all of us. Uh, я живу в России. В Москве мы делали Чикаго с Таней в 2013 или 2014 году. I live in Moscow, in И я безумно благодарна Тане, потому что для меня это был невероятный случай. Я э, вообще драматическая актриса, я работаю в театре и кино, я никогда не участвовала в мюзиклах. Uh, special and unique experience for me because I am a drama actress. I play in drama theater and movies and cinema in general. I've never before that done a musical in my life. Wow. И я благодарна очень Тане за то, что она была невероятно внимательна ко мне. 
ко мне было очень много вопросов, я знаю, но Таня поверила в меня и дала мне этот шанс, и я ей навсегда буду благодарна. And I am very grateful to Tanya for believing in me and paying as much attention as she did to me. I know I had a lot of um, issues. I needed a lot of attention and a lot of things needed to be fixed. But she was so attentive and she believed in me so much that I managed to do it and I am forever grateful for that. И теперь я могу uh, гордиться тем, что я uh, принадлежу к этой вселенной Чикаго. Это навсегда в моем сердце. Я люблю вас всех. Таня, люблю очень. I am so happy to have you all in my heart. Thank you. Спасибо. Спасибо, Саша. You don't know, but she is the first actress of a repertoire theater company, the most important theater company in Moscow. Yeah, she's kind of... Uh, <laughs> and when... When we were rehearsing Chicago, she was doing, I think, two plays at the same time. One of them were, I don't know in English if it's, that's the, correction, the correct title, but it was a Brecht yeah. piece. Uh, the Good Person set from Setsuan. Setsuan, yeah. Yeah, and I, I had the pleasure to watch her on stage and she played the woman and the man. I don't know if you know the play, but There's a woman who pretends to be her cousin. Yeah. And what she did was like crazy amazing. <laughs> Thank It was you. Like, wow. And what she had to do with her voice for um, that role, yeah. I thought she can she will not oh. be able to and she would come to rehearsal every morning and she would give her a hundred percent every day. And she would go wow. to the theater in the evening and do her job. <laughs> and she's fun and she's amazing. Спасибо, <laughs> Sasha. Спасибо, Tanya. I love you. Thank you. I Thank you, you very much. Mm -hmm. For me, pleasure. Okay, now, Ioka. Hi. It's your Good turn <laughs> to introduce yourself. Yes. Yeah. Uh, I'm Yoka, Yoka Wow from Japan. Now I'm living in New York. And I'm, uh, how wonderful idea it is. Thank you, Tanya. I play Velma was the first time in 2008 in Tokyo. I remember I was so nervous. And the Tanya was so nice. And every single day was so precious to me. So I never ever forget in my life. So amazing. I played Velma in um, 2014 and the 2016 at Lincoln Center in New York City. But um, the, to me, the Chicago and the Velma and the Tanya, it's um, amazing. Everything is amazing. And uh, when I see all Velmas, I wanted to say, we all know about, like a We know how hard to sing after um, I can't do it alone, you know? <laughs> <laughs> I can do it alone. Yeah. It's amazing. Thank you, Tanya. I love you. I miss you too so much. <laughs> I love you too. So, um, Yoka was an actress from a very, very, very important uh, theater company in Japan. Takaratsuka. Mm -hmm. After she left the company, she came to us to do Velma, to play Velma in Chicago in 2008. Yeah, but that, you know, that time to me, it's the first time to play female part. And I was so nervous. <laughs> Correct me if I'm wrong, Yoka, but I believe that in that company, the tall women yes. would play the male characters and the... Yeah not so tall would play so and she's very tall she's like mm -hmm. tall yeah so she was in the in that company she was always the male characters and then she came to play velma 
Yeah. How more woman can you be? <laughs> yeah. Thank, Thank you. you. <laughs> Love you. Love you. Fanny, ça va? Oui, ça va bien. <laughs> Des bisous de Paris. Des bisous de Brazil. <laughs> I looked at my watch about a thousand times today because I was just so excited for it to be time to meet everybody. Um, so uh, Chicago is pretty recent for me because uh, we played it uh, in Paris. So I'm, I'm the French, French Belma. Um, it was 2018 till June 2019. And uh, I shared uh, the year with another another actress, and uh, yeah, Chicago was very very important for me because uh, it's the the role. And I, I learned about Chicago when I saw the movie. I was brought up in India in the and in the South Indian jungle. Uh, I had no idea about what musicals were, and uh, I got this tape of Chicago and. I was blown away and I said, this is who I want to be. <laughs> and I packed a suitcase and a bag and I moved to Paris to uh, do a musical school. Because of Selma. So when I got the part, some 15 years later, it was... So let me just say I gave everything to that role and every single performance it was the gift. I gave him my all and I felt blessed every time I put on those shoes and I was on that stage and it does change you and you all know about it because it's, I don't think there's any other part that is so, I don't know, there's something very special about it and, and having this connection with all of you is just so beautiful because you all know about that secret if there's something I, I think about that part that is just in there and uh, and we share it all i think this so thank you tanya making this happen is just like the most wonderful idea and uh, yeah so i miss chicago all the time i think about it <laughs> all the time and uh yeah you just wanna you keep it in forever and I just feel so blessed to have been Velma. A few years back, I was on another musical show and uh, I was doing lifts with my partner and I had both my legs broken, my right ankle and my left knee, uh, with very serious and nasty injury. Uh, I still did the 70 shows <laughs> that we were supposed to do with this injury. And I got the surgery later, uh, which went wrong. Uh, so everything, everything was not supposed to happen. And when she, the the audition of Chicago came to Paris, uh, I I was not able to dance, and I, I was still limping, and my legs were totally out. So I had to let that go. And uh, I just called the the casting director, something that I've never done before, and I said, if something happened, just please remember me because this is what I want to do. <laughs> and this is what I've trained my whole life. Just please remember me. And uh, a few months later, I was in China uh, playing, doing a show where I had this enormous dress where nobody could see my legs and nobody could see I was limping. Uh, and I, I did that audition tape, and, uh, but I couldn't send in the dance. You all came back to Paris because you were looking for another Velma, so I got to do the edition, but I was still not being able to do everything, and uh, I trained <laughs> and it's what got me out of uh, that injury, actually, because uh, I lost all motivation to go back to physio and, and do it again, and uh, Velma was my goal, and she helped me through uh, this injury, and yeah, I had to get back on my legs for the 1st of March and uh, and do it. And um, yeah, so sh I owe that to <laughs> to Valma too and also to the team to have trusted me because you hired me when I was not able to dance. And uh, this was such a like leap for me. Wow. I, 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 I couldn't believe I could do it and you did. So 
Thank you so much for that. Till the last day, I didn't know if I could make it. So that was amazing. And you made it beautifully. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Merci bien. Merci <laughs> Alinta, uh, don't fall asleep. It's almost midnight there. <laughs> <laughs> I know. It's so early for you, but it's so late for me. I know. Um, yeah, it's just, it's such an honor to be part of this legacy with all of you. I mean, it is a gift and Tanya to have uh, picked all of you wonderful women. It's, you know, just such strong, exquisite, unique, fabulous. Um, and you all speak from the heart, which is just, gorgeous and um uh, like fanny i i saw i saw chicago when i was 16 and it was always a role i i wanted to do and when it came about i was just i was so elated and um thank you tanya for giving me this opportunity um i felt i felt like i grew as as my as as a human and mm. so I, just, I can't believe I'm actually, <laughs> it's just, <laughs> you know, it developed such a strength and, um, and it was just such a beautiful group of people to work with our cast, Gary, you, um, and it changed me. Mm. Absolutely. And I can't wait to meet everyone one day. I think this is just <laughs> such a magnificent I'm just overwhelmed, obviously, <laughs> but um, obviously it's, it holds a full part in my heart and yeah, it's a, an incredible experience and a memory I'll always cherish. And we were very lucky because we just finished in Australia just before COVID hit. I, I was just surprised. I just forget like how quickly you went to do two more Velmas after I did and I only just finished and you've already like taught another couple of casts. Amazing. After How you, many? after you, yeah. I think I did Mexico and US tour. Yeah. And I went to China with Sam for wow. the second, uh, yeah. It's just amazing the energy like and you bring to each cast. I just, I'm amazed. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. um, I'm very yeah. lucky to have all of you because it's it helps a lot to have good people, not only talented people, but good people, good in the heart yeah. that is open yeah. and understanding, trusting and playing and enjoying and very respectful with yeah. what we do. Yeah. So I'm fortunate, yeah. very fortunate. Julie? Yes, darling, I'm here. Denmark? <laughs> Copenhagen speaking. Hello. <laughs> very strong British accent because that's where I've been brought up. Hello, ladies. It's a Hello. pleasure. Honestly, I've been locked up for eight weeks with my two sons and to see all you beautiful ladies. <laughs> honestly, it's an honor. And Tanya, thank you so much for this opportunity. I'm also filled with emotion and uh, excitement. I feel that sewing needle going on inside me right now. Um, we all know what it's like to do Chicago and play Velma Kelly. It has been, I played it the first time in 2007. And before that, I had the honor of doing Fosse in 2001. Wow. And then I had the huge privilege of meeting Tanya in 2017, where we did uh, Velma Kelly, my Vel Velma Kelly in Copenhagen. And I've got to say, there is something magical about having a female director. Yeah. Um, there is something <laughs> magical about being so honored to get the role of Velma Kelly. There is nothing quite like that role. There is nothing quite like those women that play it. Um, I have so many times, and that's why this is surreal. I have so many times when Velma takes the stand and when we're doing all that jazz and when we have to come up, we get lifted up and we walk down. I've always thought the only people that understand what this is like are the Velma Kellys around the world doing it. It is so frightening. It is so fabulous. It is so wonderful. <laughs> and when you go through personal shit at the same time as being able to play <laughs> Velma Kelly, it is the most phenomenal catwalk you're ever going to walk in because people don't know that either you've got diarrhea that day and you still got to do the show. 
<laughs> or you've got personal issues. And I tell you what, Tanya, thank you so much. You were the reason why I had child number two on my own. Okay. I didn't know this. Um, <laughs> and the story of uh, um, in Paris and your injury, I really feel for you because the whole reason, when I went to theater school, I had a horrendous injury where they thought I broke my back and told me I couldn't dance. And I think what I would love one day is have a coffee with all of you because oh. I think we have similar stories and I think it'll be frightening how similar we yeah. all actually are um, in a good way. And, and that we all have so many similarities that are just so unique to, to why we're able to do what we do. And Tanya, thank you for your strength and your passion and your belief. Because you. um, my last Velma was when I was in my beginning of my 40s and it's the most secure I've ever felt and the most safe and the most in my body experience of feeling comfortable after just giving birth. Um, and you made that happen um, because you just have such faith in us. So thank you. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> Listen, ladies, you are all wonderful. And uh, yeah, Tanya, I have you in my heart always, you know that. Um, yeah, I'm leaving you and I wish you all the luck finding all those wonderful parts that you are able to play and will play. And I can see so much talent and love and, and energy and it's all good. And I send you all my love and I'm looking for my little baby girl now. Okay? <laughs> Thank you. I have you in my heart. Bye-bye. <laughs> Thank you very much. Bye-bye, Tanya. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Tanya knows this. It's so funny because I, I've always said to her, Basically, I can never say no to her. She could say to me, can you sing it upside down? And I would say, okay, <laughs> worry about it later. You know, she has this ability. And I, that was what I just also wanted to say is that, you know, the ability to, I think, to be a great director, <laughs> I think I've discovered since working with you is, is the sense of not only understanding the character, but understanding the people. So you're such a great sense, like you're basically like a psychologist because you would have to deal with all of our issues as you'd walk into a room and then understand who we were, how we would understand and translate stuff and how you would interpret the character. And then, do you know what I'm saying? It's like a, such an understanding of human behavior and um, to feel, I guess, I mean, all of us feel it. It's, it's to be seen and to be really heard and for it to be this, beautiful cohesive kind of process and I think that's also why it's so difficult to let go I mean Tanya knows as well I came home and literally after about four weeks I was on the phone to her leaving this voice message going ah, 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 and then felt like it tit. but um, in the moment it was like I feel like I've lost half of myself because Velma it was hard to let go of Velma and linked to Velma was like you said personal growth but Tanya was so part of it. And it had felt like a mother who had nurtured me through so much of it. So, sorry, I'm, oh, I tend to do that. But <laughs> thank you, Tanya. You have no idea the impact that you leave. I do, because I think you don't know how you impact my life, all of you. Every time, yeah, really, really. It's like uh, me as a, director as a woman, as a Brazilian, you know, dealing with these people, you know, it's like, wow, it's kind of dream. Jackie knows the story I told her. First time I went to, to the international Chicago was 2007 Korea, how much yeah. I cried <laughs> yes. in the airport of fear. Yeah. I was so scared. And honestly, every time I went to a rehearsal room for the first time, mm -hmm. of course, I don't cry anymore, but I do have that feeling of responsibility. You know, that first of all, it's not my show, it's Chicago's not my show, but I have the responsibility to make you feel comfortable, confident. And when I leave, I need to know that you trust yourselves and I need to know that you're going to be always doing your best. Mm -hmm. Not for the show, but for you, because you deserve it. So it, it, that, and every time I went to a rehearsal room with different cultures and different eyes and different bodies and different thoughts, 
I really had to go like this mm -hmm. and really listen to everything, not only what you're saying, but what, how you react, how you move. And again, going back to the beginning of our meeting, thanks to those three ladies, Carolina, Kathy, and Tasha, I was able to understand even the language that I still don't speak, Korean, Russian. <laughs> and I must say, Tanya, I must say you. that for me, um, I feel a little short-sighted because I did work with you in another language that was not my own. So the, there was, um, for me, a barrier. Mm. So I do, I do wish and hope that we will work on this role in this language. <laughs> <laughs> experience that you know you know what I mean yeah. I mean I understood what I could understand at the time I was fighting with myself and like what the fuck am I doing in this language the, you know German I'm sure people know how long these the German language the words itself and to fit you know what does Velma takes a stand I think there was one time I got on that stage and I didn't say one word that made sense because I just wanted to, you know, just wanted to get through, through, oh, through, through it. Through the class, I just wanted to get through it, through the, through the, the, the thing. Now I'm like, oh, I got it. I, I have it now. English. Wow. So I really want to experience that, which I feel like I couldn't get to that with you, Tanya. Mm -hmm. yeah. So, I mean, I got bits and pieces so it's so it's so refreshing to hear your voice again after so many years and to hear that power that you carry and that's why we all the Velmas that you I was on board as soon as you wrote me the email I mean I didn't even read the whole thing I was like oh yeah when is it yeah <laughs> <laughs> this whole thing I think that I would be in contact and I would be around such powerful women so we will follow you <laughs> oh, thank you. <laughs> Big time, and also in such Tanya, in such a short space of time, it is quite amazing what what is what was achievable. Um, mm -hmm. You know, in making this, and that we're all able to be here. But it's really the sign of the times. And I think what's also happened with COVID nineteen is that you start thinking differently, and you start finding other ways of performing and doing. And and you know what you really do? You start really missing and figuring out how lucky and privileged we are to do yeah. what we do. It's unbelievable. Because yeah. right now, none of us know when we're gonna go back and work because we need an audience and it's been taken away from us. But just to be able to have this today, thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Isn't it a thank double you. show day ordinarily? <laughs> oh my God. Yes. No, let's not get back. <laughs> oh, okay, double. ladies, so I'm gonna let say goodbye because it, I don't wanna really, you know me right time the time is the time and i know alint is it's really late uh logan you can go back to sleep <laughs> thank you very much come sami <laughs> bye thank you merci spasiba i'll see bye, you soon i'll talk to you soon thank, thank you tanya. bye tanya cheers thank you so much bye, tanya.